says about our show in this magazine, the Grumble with jokes will have a tremendous appeal to all our readers. <laughs> that is good. What magazine is that in? The Antique Collector. To hold someone you care for. You. I don't care, young man. As head lifeguard, it was your responsibility to ensure that the swimming pool was full of water, especially the deep end where the diving boards are. You big fella. Oh. Hey, how's your wife? Ah, she's still got a terrible cold. <coughs> hey, is that her coffin? No, oh, no. This is a coffee table. <laughs> Well, doctors, I'm, I'm suffering from double vision. Double vision, eh? Mm. I wonder, could you change me these two fives into ten? <laughs> <laughs> now then, sir, just relax. I've oh. nearly... I've nearly... Oh! Oh! Very sorry, sir. You're I've clumsy. I've uh, you again, haven't you? Yes. Well, I'll just finish off oh, this side. Oh, good girl! Good girl! Oh! Well, uh, we're, oh. we're just about finished now, sir. I'll just uh, just clean you up a little bit. Oh. You, there oh. are, sir. Thank you. Oh. There oh. we are, sir. Oh. Thank you. Uh, have I shaved you before, have I, sir? No, no. I lost this at Dunkirk. <laughs> I've got a letter here from my boy, Harry. It says he's going through an identity crisis. What, you mean like he's trying to find his real self and all that? No, no, he says that the driver of the security van might recognise him. <laughs> My missus had another nipple last night. How many is that you've got now, then? Fourteen. Fourteen? Fourteen. In ten years? Aye. <laughs> hey, you're going from, aren't you? Aye, and I owe it all to this stuff, you know. Raw carrots, plenty of lettuce. <laughs> You even eat like a rabbit as well, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was really boring. What? I said I've had a really boring evening. How oh, come? I thought you said your mates were a really good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> good evening. I've noticed that all the comedy shows on television have guest singers. I suppose it's because there haven't enough jokes and have to fill for three minutes. <laughs> the Grumble Weeds never give a chance to singers. In fact, I think it's a shame. And, uh... <laughs> if I ruled the world, every day would be the first day of spring. Don't adjust your set. You're not drunk. You've got two of a kind. I've been having a bit of trouble. A bit of trouble? Yeah. Ooh. I was in the pub the other night and a big fella walked in and he went wallop. Wallop? On the back of my neck. Oh. And said to the chap next to me, he said, when he wakes up, tell him that was a karate chop from Japan. Ooh. Ooh. A week later, I walked in the pub and there he was. And I hit him. And I said, when he wakes up, tell him that's a starting handle from a 1948 Ford. <laughs> We've got to double trouble just to try and make you laugh. And all that we have really proved is we're all twice as now. He's a great baker, he's our dad. On the morning, half past six in the morning, my three sisters, Trudy and Rachel, and that Roberta, they get out of bed and they go down and start sweeping shop up, don't they? Yeah, then my mum and dad will get out of bed, then they'll go down to bakery and they'll start lighting ovens. Get them going. Yeah, warm them up. That's right, yeah. <laughs> then my three uncles, 
They get out of bed and they go down and start sorting out bread dough out. Yeah, them me three brothers, they get out of bed. Richard, Ronnie and Robert. I like it, Robert. <laughs> yeah, they go down and they start sorting out currants out. You're putting out tea cake. Yeah. And, th and then, then my grandma and my granddad get out of bed, don't they? Yeah. They go down to ready to serve each shop. Yeah. After that, we have bed to ourselves, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> My father was the Great Wall of China. He was a brick <laughs> And a little gem. Charming. Ladies and gentlemen, impression time. Are you ready for this? Our impression of Dolly Parton. <laughs> the producer said work twice as hard or else you're all in trouble. So we practiced all day long and now it's all in double. Watch your hearts down in a room. Ha, ha, ha. Forty years in the business. Look at us now. We started with only a pair of tight and a hat. <laughs> yes. What have we got now? We've got diamonds, jewels, gold, turquoise. Mansions and hotels, Rolls Royces and yachts. And what do we have when we started? A pair of tights and a handbag. <laughs> Tell them what was in the handbag. Forty million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> And so I now pronounce you man and wife to make his the bride. <laughs> oh, what are you in prison for? Bigamy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm afraid you're going to have to go now, darling. But I'm having a good time. Why can't I stay? Because visiting times are over. <laughs> I don't want to go in that plane. I can't go. I can't. Don't make me go in that plane. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. Uh, is your husband scared of flying? No, love. He's just found out the in flight move is the sound of music. <laughs> I say it is. And I say it is. And I say it is. And I say it is. It is. Oi! What are you two rowing about now? Ah, uh, it isn't help here. He says there's three points in a quart, and I say there's only two. Well, you're right. Two points in a quart. Thank you. Come here, love. Could we have two points, please? The barman's paying for these. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Is that two points? That's right. Two points. <laughs> And now, Mr. Speaker, I would like to put forward a motion against police brutality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A woman who was arrested for stealing a thousand pounds worth of perfume from Arabs has promised to pay back every cent. <laughs> well, boss, what's the verdict? I'm sorry, son, you're just not good enough. Oh. Well, it's been finished, isn't it? Who wants a block with two left feet? Cat had a ball, knackered after five minutes. Well, I would keep away from football if I was you. Oh. I'd go to Manchester City. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the country singers sing the songs about the thing that went wrong. Johnny Cash. Everybody guess you know my name by the tremble in my voice. <laughs> it started to tremble 20 years ago when I was just a young bird. I was with a young girl in a hotel room and boy, we sure weren't faking. <laughs> and in came her husband, he was toting a gun. And that's when my voice started shaking. <laughs> Dolly Parton. Thank you. 
clover Cause I have trouble dancing about Cause I keep falling over Slum wet mud Then he's coming My guy You know what I want you for I've been young I'm a moody guy from the plains of Texas, ride my horse all day. With a mouth full of backy and a good full of whiskey and a belly full of chili beans. I ain't been home for weeks and I'm feeling tired, I'm bumping up and down in my saddle. And every time I stop and ask someone, the way I get blowed right out of town. Country <laughs> singers sing a song about pain. Less than it costs to fill her up, you can have four weeks unlimited bus or train travel in West Midlands County. Get there easier, cheaper. What? Even more big savings. The amazing savings aren't over yet at the new look ELS. It's something else, ELS. We must be mad. Take a look at Nissan at Auckland. Introducing Birmingham's brand new Nissan dealership, Oakland Motor Company at Stratford Road, Shirley. With the complete Nissan range from the economical micro to the high-performance Sylvia. With full service and parts facilities. So, take a look at Nissan at Auckland. Hiring a car or van? Teamside promise we won't be beaten on price. Hire a car from only £57.50 per week or the sensational new Transit for £97.75 a week. The Renault Master Van, just £143.75 a week. Teamside, just off Junction 1 on the M5. Or dial 100 and ask for free phone Teamside. Right, right, right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Early Part 2. And it is Grumble Reads Original time. Grumble Reads Original. Penned by Mr. Carl, Dr. Carl. Right, right, right. This is a wonderful number called The Renew Makes Me Proud. <laughs> like part of me died I've got a feeling that you're not gonna stay Please don't send me away Can't remember ever being like this Seems it started from the very first kiss I couldn't bear to lose this happiness Loving you makes me so proud I wanna shout your name out loud Must be out of my head Can we start again? I'm begging you now You know I love you and how Could you lose a love that's solid and true A love that always feels so shiny and new my love revolves around only you Loving you makes me so proud oh, yeah. I want to shout your name out loud I want to shout your name out loud Loving you makes me so proud oh, yeah. I want to shout 
I hope Lovesies were near addressed to the girls. Yeah. Yeah. Dear Mandy, Sally and Tracy, you are the three best looking girls on television. I agree. Right. Definitely. Lovely. I like the songs you write for the five lads that back you. <laughs> and you are obviously trying to help their careers. However, I think you're wasting your time. They don't seem to have any talent and they lower the standard of the old show. Might I suggest that you replace them with another group? I think. Who's written that? The Baron Knight. <laughs> <laughs> now, our blood has mingled. We are blood brothers. Anything to say? Could have made smaller cuts. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you the staff entrance is down the back, chef? <laughs> is there anybody there? If that's you, Albert Jelly Mold, knock twice for no, three times for yes. Right, go on. Ask him, ask him what I told you, sir. Go on, the dirty little devil. Albert Jellybald, your good lady wife, says that before you died, you were having an affair with another woman. Is this true? <laughs> yeah, and I bet it was her next door. <laughs> Was it her from next door? No. Well, I bet it was her from Quap, then. <laughs> was it her from the co-op? He's lying. He's lying. <laughs> My mother said it was either her next door and her from Quap. Ask him. Ask him again. Albert, her mother... <laughs> <laughs> Different tricks there. Letter time. Yeah. Ah. I've got a letter here. You're drinking again? Yes. Oh, smack your legs. You're not good. Right, now then, this is... Oh, it's a nice letter, this one. It says, Dear Trix, every year I spend my holidays in Skegness. Oh, sunny Skeggy. Yes. We go there for our holidays every year. Same fortnight every year, don't yeah. we? Oh, yeah. First week, half bored. Yeah. Second week, completely bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says it. It says, I get a lot of trouble when it's hot. Last year I got heat stroke. Oh. The year before I got sunstroke. Oh. Do you think I should go back again? And it's signed Mrs. Elsie Hargreaves, aged 63. Woo. Well, I should count your blessings, love. At 63, you're lucky to get a stroke of any sort. <laughs> <laughs> right. Where are we going to go to this year, then? As long as it's better than last year, I don't mind. That was horrible last year. Horrible. All the bed bugs. <laughs> Rats coming through the broken doors. Ah. Cold food, cold water. The toilet overflowing all the time. It's definitely the last time I'll spend my holidays at home. <laughs> Where's that new recruit gone, Marigold? You know, the one with lumps on her chest and no <laughs> hair on her top lip. Oh, well, she's left. She went home when she realised we weren't waiting for next Barry Manilow concert. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Mystics! Sober, sober. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen,
and gentlemen, I've brought the great Grumbelini on this evening to show you another of his amazing tricks, haven't I, dear? Yes. Oh, God. Thank you, Mother. I don't know where I go. <laughs> Can I borrow one of those cigarettes? Just one moment. Would you mind awfully? Trick with a cigarette, you say. This is very, very good. They are good. Thank you so much. Lovely. Oh, yes. Now, this is a trick with a cigarette. Oh. I know you're not old enough to smoke, but what's no. it going? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Chickens? No. Now, you see the gentleman there with a the novelty suit on? Yes, the gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know it was a fancy could, dress. Could you <laughs> borrow his jacket? Just Can go ask him. To, I'm sure he'd take it off for you rather than he would jacket. for me. <laughs> yes, that's Very lovely. kind, young man. Give him a <laughs> round of applause for the novelty jacket. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Now, we shall... I'm sorry about his arm. Look, how do you do that? There you are. Faith healing. Now, listen. Now, this is incredible. Learnt by me when I was a kid, a horrible kid. Yeah. I used to sellotape worms to the pavement and see the birds get hernias, picking them up. Now, this is what we do. It's that big on here now, I don't think. I bet when he sees this, he'll wish he wasn't in the pub. Wish now, listen. I don't know if you know this, folks, but when you look at material, you can't tell whether it's good material or whether it's man-made fibres. There's no way of telling by looking. No way of But telling. I want to tell you something. There is a test... Now... <laughs> you'll love this if you've got a sense of humour. Now, watch it! Real good material burns with a steady smoke. Man-made fibres just melt. Just melt away. Yes. Yes. This way. Yes, if it goes wrong, it's not my fault. Oh. No, it's her cigarette. Oh, right. I'm glad you see her. Oh, and if it does go wrong, don't worry about wearing the suit in the future. Wear the jacket without the trousers, no one will look at the burn. <laughs> Very good, yeah, now. Look at that. Goodness straight sake. into the coat. Yeah, straight into the coat. He's now got a smoking jacket. A smoking <laughs> <jacket>. <laughs> and in ten seconds, it could be a blazer. <laughs> no. Would you like to have a little stubber? Have a little stubber. Oh, 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 you little stubber. Oh. Right, right the way down. Wave your hand over the... And would you believe it? No burn, no cigarette. How about that? It's impossible. Isn't She'll be kicked around the park. <laughs> Russell Grant. <laughs> That's all for the night, folks. See you next week. Next tonight, Leslie Crowther invites more contestants to come on down for the chance to win some fabulous prizes, if the price is right.